I want to talk about something that people say didn't happen. Muslims in particular denying it happened. They say, no, no, there were no six million Jews killed in the Holocaust. The Jews invented it for sympathy. That's the new big lie coming out of the Hitlers of our time, the radical Islamists. And, you know, I watched a documentary last night from hidden war footage uh, from World War II called Night Will Fall on HBO, and they have to be they have to be lauded for what they did. What was interesting was this was directed by, at the end, Alfred Hitchcock. We all know how what a great director Alfred Hitchcock was. And this HBO documentary on the Holocaust ends with a statement that unless humanity learns the lessons of the Holocaust, night will fall. And yet we have a Holocaust going on right now against Christians and Yazidis in Iraq and Syria. The Islamo-fascist ISIS today is carrying on the work of Adolf Hitler. They're saying that they wish to kill tens of millions of Christians, Jews, minorities, and Muslims who do not follow their view of Islam. And yet Hollywood looks the other way. Yet Obama refuses to call them by their true name. They call the Islamic State. Obama says they're not Islamic. They call themselves Islamic State. They're the new Hitlers of our time. They're conducting a holocaust against Christians. And yet John Kerry says they're not Muslims. So I asked myself today, should I even touch this topic? Can I even touch this topic where people have heard about the holocaust for so long they're not interested in it anymore? But you know, when you watch that 90-minute documentary, which will be rerun tonight on HBO, and you see the, the, the piles of human hair and the, the mounds of dead bodies, and you look in the eyes of the dead, and you say, you know, but for the grace of God, there goes I. You say, no, you have to talk about it, no matter how boring it is. Because right now, anti-Jewishism, I wouldn't call it anti-Semitism, but anti-Jewish hatred is, as a, is a reaching a new crescendo. It's so bad in France that French Jews are fleeing to Israel as they did many, many uh, decades ago. And at the same time, Muslims are destroying churches, killing thousands of Christians in the Middle East, in uh, Nigeria. In Nigeria, it's the Boko Haram Muslims slaughtering, slaughtering Christians, burning churches, the Islamic State has pulled down church crosses in northern Iraq. 200,000 Christians fled. Did you know anything about that? You haven't heard anything about that. There's a holocaust going on right now, and I ask myself, and this is a tough question, where are the righteous Jews? You say, well, why are you picking on the Jews? Well, I could say, where are the righteous to anyone else? But I'll say, where are the righteous Jews? You know why? Because I watched Schindler's List years ago, and all the Jewish groups commended Schindler's List, and they said they were righteous Gentiles for saving the Jews, those who were saved. And they were right. They were righteous Gentiles. So now where are the righteous Jews, I ask myself? I don't know where they are. I haven't heard them speak out against the Holocaust, against the Christians. And I myself feel obligated to take this valuable time on the radio to ask where are the righteous Jews where are the righteous everyone else as a holocaust is occurring in front of our eyes? I watched the unforgettable HBO documentary, Night Will Fall. And I watched this footage as the cam cameras lingered on and, and, and grazed across the lifeless bodies of the dead Jews. The individual bodies, emaciated, rubbery. Close-up shots on the faces, locked in grimaces of eternal torment and despair teeth missing, skulls cracked open. It, it was, it's something that I shouldn't have watched. I was warned many years ago not to watch Holocaust footage because it would drive me insane. But I watched it anyway. I couldn't stop watching it in my dark room last night. I sat alone with the dog watching it for well over an hour. And I kept asking myself, what is the point of watching this? It was so long ago. Why are you watching this? Night Will Fall on HBO. It describes how British, U.S., and Soviet troops, I, I will say the Soviet troops, moved through Germany in the spring of 1945, supplied with soldiers who'd been specially trained as cameramen. And those of you in the film world should watch this. They carried primitive cameras with thick lenses and wind-up cranks. And they were told by the U.S. Army to capture everything they saw in detail. 
to contradict those who inevitably deny the truth of the camps. And right now we have those denying the truth of the camps. Nazis in America, Nazis in Europe, Muslims in particular saying there was no uh, Holocaust. And yet it's happening again. And the object was to make it a lesson for all of humankind as well as the Germans. So they made detailed footage. They made detailed footage. And it's a, it's a historical record of what actually happened in the concentration camps. The bodies, the ovens, the storage facilities filled with human hair, the children, the children, especially the twins picked out for Joseph Mengele's experiments on Jewish twins. And I, I sat there, and not only did tears come to my eyes, I wanted to kill. I didn't sit there whining to myself. I wanted to murder. Every instinct in me, I wanted to take a knife and stab it into someone's heart. I wanted to do to them what they did to these children, but I couldn't do it. I was sitting alone in a, a room by myself with a dog in the year 2015, and I asked myself, where are the righteous Jews? The harrowing faces were there. The U.S. government sent them there and then didn't run the footage because they didn't want to antagonize Germany. They needed the country to help in the post-war reconstruction. And they were seen as a future ally in the Cold War against Russia. And so this amazing footage was put on the shelf. And then they sent in Billy Wilder, another great director at the end. And he made a little short film called Death Mills. Death Mills. And that's the only thing the American people saw, which was horrible enough. So I ask myself, as I watched Night Will Fall, the HBO documentary about the Holocaust last night, I ask myself, where are the righteous Jews? That's all. That's who I'm focusing on. That's who I'm focusing on. Because we're hearing a lot about the Holocaust, and as we should. But where are the righteous Jews who are telling us about the Holocaust against the Jews? And by the way, against Christians who spoke out against Hitler. That you don't know. I've studied this my entire life, and six million Jews were killed, but about nine million others were killed, also in concentration camps. You don't know priests were killed, nuns were killed, political opponents were killed. That you don't know, but you'll know it by the time I get through with you today. We know that there's anti-Semitism again. We know that. And we should pay attention to the Muslims in Europe. We should pay attention to ISIS destroying Christian churches across the Middle East, just like uh, Hitler destroyed the Jews, they're destroying Christians. How many Christians, how many non-Muslims have been killed by the political act of jihad? We have the numbers right here. We have them right here. I have them all. You don't want to hear this. Counting the number of African Christians killed in the 20th century, we have 60 million Christians killed from the beginning of time. 80 million Hindus killed, 10 million Buddhists killed. Did you hear this? So there's been a holocaust against these groups, and yet we hear nothing about it. So I figured, look, I have to talk out about it. You know why I have to talk out about it? Because I'm not going to waste your time on a radio show talking about nonsense. I'm just not going to sit here and talk about nonsense. So I ask myself, where are the righteous Jews? I don't know. I found one statement by Rabbi Rick Block, president, and Rabbi Steve Fox, chief executive of the Central Conference of American Rabbis, who said, the Torah forbids Jews to, to, uh, to be silent. You shall not stand idle while your fellow bleeds. And they said they're horrified and revolted by the persecution of Christians, Yazidis, and other religious minorities in the Arab world, particularly in Iraq and Syria, by Islamist terrorist groups such as ISIS or ISIL, the so-called Islamic State in Iraq and Syria, and they condemn the acts. But I haven't heard any other professional Jewish groups say a word. They're guilds. They're little guilds of self, self-important self little guilds. And they are the silent ones today. They're acting silent the way the world was silent while the Jews were being thrown in the ovens. You'd expect more from the Jews. That's my point. You'd expect more from the Jews, that's all. If they're the ones talking about the Holocaust day and night, as they feel they must, to prevent it from happening again, why are they silent while it's happening again to Christians and Yazidis, who are not only being killed, some are being enslaved, the women are being forcibly raped. You say, well, why are they not speaking out? I don't know, answer the question for me. Why are they not speaking out? Answer the question, why are they not speaking out? So let me go back to the beginning. The blizzard that, that wasn't, they got it wrong. 
So people say, well, what else did they get wrong? I don't know what to believe in anymore. If that moron, Shepard Smith, can still stand up there and not go to a mental hospital after his hysteria of yesterday about a blizzard, you say to yourself, then they're lying every day about something. You don't know what the hell they're talking about. They get up and read a teleprompter and they read it with a suit on and you're supposed to believe Shepard Smith and, and, and uh, Al, Al Blani, they were, all of them, they're liars and idiots and morons, uneducated, stupid idiots, is what you say to yourself. So who do you believe? Well, that's why I direct you to this HBO documentary. Why don't you believe some documentary footage of human bodies that look wor You can't believe what you're going to see if you have HBO. Force yourself to watch it. Force yourself to see what happened to the Jews in the 1940s. And then ask yourself, if a Holocaust is occurring now, which it is, why is the world silent? And that's what I want to talk about for a while. And I thank you for listening. And I'll be right back.